Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we live with uh, Ms. Suklin, who is the manager, international admission of South Asia for the King's University, Canada. And uh, today we'll be discussing about to study in the King's University, Canada, especially we want to know about the courses, the tuition fees, and all the facilities the university is offering. But before we go to the further discussion, I would like to give a brief introduction about Sanway admission. Once again, to all of our viewers who are watching at the very first time today, Sanway Admission is a foreign admission conferency firm based in Dhaka, Bangladesh. And we are the official representative of about uh, 100 plus foreign universities and colleges. And we are representing all these universities in uh, Bangladesh. Uh, and we have, uh, you know, uh, a few other branches in Silet, Chittagong, and Pune also. So let's start the discussion with uh, Ms. Suklin, and I would like to request all the viewers, if you have any questions, please write your comments in the comments box so we can introduce, um, you know, include your question in our today's discussion. So Mrs. Suklin, welcome to our live session today. Thank you so much, Mr. Asad, and thank you so much, Sanway Admission, for giving me this platform so that, you know, I can be in direct touch with the students during these tough times of COVID-19 when I could not personally visit Bangladesh, but of course, you know, I can be in direct touch with the students through this Facebook live session. Thank you so much for giving me this platform. Outstanding, outstanding. Thank you very much for your time also. So, uh, Mrs. Uh, Supreme, first of all, uh, Please say something about uh, the King's University, Canada. So first of all, I would like to tell you a few things about King's University. So King's University is located in Edmonton, Alberta in Canada. So when you talk about Edmonton, it is, uh, you know, one of the main cities of Alberta. So the student would be going to the main city when, uh, you know, the student would be studying in the King's University. So the students would be studying in one of the, uh, you know, the main cities. So uh, again, I would like to tell you about Alberta, uh, you know, when I think most of the students, you know, they want to seek permanent residency after completion of their studies. So Alberta is a wonderful province in that matter. So when you, uh, you know, El Alberta has, uh, you know, the easiest uh, permanent residence possibility as compared to the other uh, other provinces. So for the more details, of course, the students, uh, you know, according to their profiles, they can go and visit the CIC websites and, uh, you know, they can assess their profile uh, on that. Uh, but of course, the for the permanent residency, uh, the Alberta province is a wonderful option for the students if the students are seeking the easy uh, easy permanent residency. And uh, when you talk about King's University, it was opened in 1979. So it is a 40 years old institution. And when you talk about King's University, uh, you know, the average classroom size is 850 students. So, uh, you know, we believe in giving individual attention to the students. Our classroom size is very small. Uh, the average classroom size is 22 students. So the faculty to the student ratio is 1 is to 11. So for every, every 11 students, we have a one teacher. Uh, this is just because uh, that, uh, you know, we want our students to have an individual attention. And, uh, you know, uh, at King's University, we believe in investing in latest technologies uh, so that, you know, whenever the students are going out for a job, uh, you know, when they out, uh, when they are out into the competitive world, they should be competent enough. So, you know, we believe in investing in latest technologies. And recently, uh, King's University have done quarter of a million dollar of investment into the nuclear magnetic resonance machine. And this machine is used in many programs uh, at the King's University. And, you know, uh, students at the King's University, they have an, a distinct advantage in their future career, especially in a province that has been blessed with so much of chemical wealth. So any student uh, who have studied uh, chemistry in their 12th standard. So, uh, you know, Alberta is a very good province for them because that has been blessed with so much of chemical wealth. And secondly, uh, when you talk about new academic enrichment center, uh, we have at the King's University, we have this new academic enrichment center. 
center uh, you know which helps the students in imbibing the necessary skills uh, through the seminars and workshops the, like they, they, they are conducted from time to time so that necessary skills are imbibed in the students and of course whenever they go out in the outer world uh, in order to seek a job they uh, you know they they again have the necessary skills uh, so kings university uh, make sure that and of course the, the question comes in the students mind like why they should choose kings university from the other universities like what makes kings university different from other universities so first of all i would like to talk about the quality of education so when you talk about quality of education at kings university because uh, you know it is a major concern of the parents and the students because they are spending a lot of money uh, on their students education so quality of education is something they are looking for so when you talk about kings university's quality of education it is nationally and internationally recognized and you know many of our students uh, you know they also are working as a part time paid researchers under our professors so during their summer break the students are given opportunity so that you know they can work as a paid researcher like a part time paid researcher and i would also like to quote uh, you know uh, one of our uh, student ashley she is a student of bachelor's of science and she has done this research uh, on carbon reduction simulations and how these simulations will be projected for the year 2100 so you know these are the kinds of research with the students are doing at the kings university so if the stu if any student from bangladesh is looking for a good quality of education with a promising future uh, then kings university is of course the right choice for them secondly what makes kings university different is our professor so when you talk about professors at the kings university 90% of the professors at kings university are phd and secondly many of our teachers have won awards uh, you know i would like to quote uh, one of our professor over here dr peter he has won this c3 award that is college chemistry canada award and this award is given to the uh, persona who has made contribution to the quality of education so this award is given annually so th these are the kinds of awards which the uh, professors at kings university have won and of course the student would be uh, studying with the best professors across canada and uh, you know so and of course the professors at the kings university they ensure uh, that students are choosing the right courses and they also make uh, ensure that to about the internship opportunities or the summer jobs uh, available uh, in the kings university so this was a brief description about the kings university well thank you actually you uh, i think uh, shared all the details about the university thank you so how many courses actually uh, are you offering uh, the university for the international students Yes so when you talk about the programs we have program options for all the streams arts medical non medical and commerce students uh, so all the program options are available we have bachelor degrees and we have bachelor degrees for 3 years as well as for 4 years so some of the degrees are for 4 years and some of the degrees have choice uh, you know whether the student wants to opt out for a 3 year or for a 4 year so first of all i would like to talk about the program that is bachelors of arts so we have different specializations in that uh, so bachelors of arts we have specialization in english history uh, philosophy sociology uh, psychology theology and then phe so what is this phe so phe is politics history and economics so this is a program which is modeled after ppe uh, which is being taught in the oxford university so this is a program uh, you know one of its own kind in north america uh, which is being taught in the kings university so any student who is interested in making their career into the government life or politics uh, or anything of that sort so this program is a wonderful option for those students and then uh, you know uh, we have uh, 
bachelors of science so again we have specializations in uh, biology chemistry computing science and environmental studies so students you can choose uh, you know uh, your specialization according to your interest when you talk about bachelors of computing science so we require mathematics for this uh, you need to have uh, plus 2 mathematics in order to take admission into the bachelors of science computing science and then we have uh, bachelors of science biology uh, and then we have ba biology the ba biology is a three year degree program which does not require mathematics and bachelors of science biology uh, is for four years and require mathematics so students uh, if you uh, do not have maths in your 12th standard and you can also go in the university uh, for if in the ba biology and after that you know if you want to upgrade uh, your uh, for, uh, your degree from ba biology to the bsc biology then of course uh, by giving a simple math test in the university itself you can upgrade uh, it any time but of course if you want to go for a 3 year ba biology degree then of course uh, you could also do that so when you talk about a biology degree so uh, our biology degree uh, our biology graduates they can directly apply into the elberta society of professional biologists so our degree is very professional and students can directly apply into the elberta society of professional biologists and uh, you know when you talk about bsc chemistry our uh, chemistry degree is also accredited by the canadian society of chemists so and our graduates uh, you know right after the graduation they can be designated needed as chemist so any student who has interest into the pharmacy or chemistry field this is a very good option for those students and uh, next program we have is bachelors of commerce so again bachelors of commerce requires mathematics uh, 12 standard mathematics we have specialization into accounting uh, not profit and social entrepreneurship small business and entrepreneurship so you know these are the specializations for bachelors of commerce so any student uh, you know they can choose their specialization according to their interest so when you talk about bachelors of commerce accounting if you want to be a professional accountant into canada uh, uh, you know completing this stream will definitely prepare you uh, for the cpa pep uh, and you can uh, you know directly sit for that uh, the like you know you can directly get admission into that and you can become a professional accountant over there and professional accountant in canada is uh, you know one of the highest paying jobs so any student uh, you know they are seeking uh, for a good promising future and you know they want to be a professional accountant into canada so become accounting uh, is a very good option a uh, wonderful option i would rather say for them so uh, i would also like to mention like all of our programs have internships and all of our programs have also have a study abroad semester where all the students are uh, you know they are given opportunity because the student would be studying like for a 3 year or for 4 year uh, at only one campus so we don't want our students to get bored at studying only at one campus for four long years so we give opportunity to the students uh, where they could go abroad like apart from canada they can have uh, you know international uh, uh, experience and exposure apart from canada for example when you talk about the business students uh, you know they are uh, they have the experience of this cross cultural learning and they are uh, sent to the uh, you know different countries like uh, netherlands south korea and thailand so you know uh, these are the uh, uh, places where the students are sent so that uh, you know they can have a abroad a semester over there and they can have an international exposure apart from canada and then uh, we have next program is bachelors of music so any student who has interest into the classical music uh, they can opt for this bachelors of music so um, when you and the next program that uh, we have is bachelors of education so bachelors of education we have it into elementary and secondary so any student uh, you know they want to be a teacher into canada otherwise it's very difficult to be a teacher into canada so any student if you want to be a teacher into canada then bachelors of education uh, is a very good option for them government of alberta requires 12 weeks of practice and uh, we have 17 to 18 weeks of like we are providing 
17 to 18 weeks of practice uh, you know which is much more than that and this program makes you learn how to be a great teacher into canada but in order to uh, you know apply for this bachelor's of education you need to do your graduation first at the king's university for example you want to be a biology teacher into canada so in order to be a biology teacher uh, into canada uh, you know uh, you can do this ba biology for 3 years and then you know we can uh, do a 2 years bachelor's of education so you know you can be a biology teacher it, it would be that easy for you otherwise it is very difficult to be a teacher into canada so these were the you know brief description about the programs at the courses uh, which are available at the kings university for jan and tech yeah i think uh, you've described very well about the courses so now you just tell us that how much the tuition fees for that 3 years bachelor and 4 years bachelor's degree so for uh, like we for a, for for one academic year the tuition fees is uh, 20000 canadian dollars and we are also providing scholarships so any student who has scored 80% and above will be eligible for the scholarship of 2000 canadian dollars and any student uh, you know who has scored 90% and above will be eligible for the scholarship of 3000 canadian dollars so for one academic year the tuition deposit will be 20000 and so on okay so do you offer any scholarships Yes, of course, we are offering scholarships. Any student, you know, who has got 80% and above uh, will be eligible for the scholarship of 2000 Canadian dollars. And any student who has got 90% and above will be eligible for the scholarship of 3000 Canadian dollars. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. So if any students wants to start their process uh, for the next intake, so what is the admission requirements? So uh, the student needs to have the IELTS, their IELTS exam uh, with the 6.5 overall, no less than 5.5 in one module. They can also, we are also accepting PTE, that is 59. We are also accepting Duolingo 110. We are also accepting TOEFL 88, minimum 21 in each section. So these are the English test requirements which the student like, you know, one of any one of them, the student could pass and they can apply. Uh, the academics, they need to have minimum 60% of the marks in order to apply for King's University. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So uh, you just tell us that when uh, the next intake will be started. So the next intake would be starting in January uh, 2021. So the admissions are still open for January 2021. So the next intake will be January 2021. So what is the admission deadline? So of course, uh, you know, the admission deadline is still 15 October, uh, which is coming fast. Uh, but we are trying to extend the admission date. But right now it is October 15. OK. OK, so uh, the last of all, I just ask you that uh, what is the procedure to get the letter of acceptance? You already describe everything. So if you tell me again uh, the details to get the lower, that, that means the letter of acceptance. So of course, uh, you know, the students can come at Sunway admission and they can help take the help of Mr. Asad. They can come, uh, you know, Mr. Asad would definitely help uh, the students to choose uh, according to their taste, the course. And, you know, they can apply through them. Sunway admission is our registered partners and students could apply and we are giving offer letter within a week. So if you are applying through Sunway admission, so we will give you offer letter within a week. And after that, you know, the students uh, could deposit their fees and they will uh, get the letter of acceptance. So this will be the procedure for letter of acceptance. That is very simple, right? That first the students, they will submit all the required documents to us and then we'll send to the university. So university will issue the admission letter, that means the offer letter. And after that, students will uh, transfer uh, the minimum deposit uh, for the for getting their letter of acceptance. Yes. So that is very simple. I think the students, they got a very clear concept from this session. And uh, thank you again, uh, Ms. Oakland, to join this live session. And uh, thank you very much for watching us to everybody. If you have any further questions, I would like to request everyone, please contact us. We are uh, the official uh, uh, representative for the King's University Canada. 
So if you have any questions regarding the university courses, the tuition fees, and the admission requirements, please contact with us. You will find out our contact details on our Facebook page. Apart from that, you can contact with us through WhatsApp or directly you can uh, call us to our phone number. So thank you again and uh, have a good night. So thank you, uh, Mrs. Sukhin, to join the live session. Thank you so much, Mr. Asad, for having me here. And I would also like to tell students to go, uh, go and follow the King's University page on Instagram and Facebook and have more insights about the university so that you know uh, you can go on Instagram page and see how what is, how is the campus life and visit our website and see uh, what are the residence facilities which are available and you can have a glance at the campus life. And thank you so much, Mr. Asad, for giving me yeah. this platform so that I can be live. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye.